What's up everybody, my name is Lenny Kaiser and in this video I'm going to show you five useful Macs for Live devices to use in your productions. So let's start with the DS kick. This stands for drum synth kick. And you have a lot of useful parameters like decay, which is gonna control the length, the envelope, which will create a pitch sweep. and an overdrive for a little bit of distortion. All right, so let's go to the next Max for Live device, which is going to be the granulator. The granulator is a granular synthesizer, which basically means that it splits your audio up into tiny samples or grains and does a bunch of cool stuff with it from there. So let's check this out. So I have a sample loaded in here already. So the four main parameters I like to control on the granulator are the position, the scan, brain size, and shape. The position is gonna choose what position in the sample. It'll start playing back from. The scan parameter will scan through the audio file. The grain size will control the size of the samples, so smaller grain size, it's gonna sound more glitchy. And the shape parameter here determines how the samples or the grains are cross-faded between. If you're interested in learning more about my courses and teachings and want to go more in depth on these topics, check out my courses at sequenceone.org. So the next device that we're going to check out is the LFO. Before I do that, I'm going to add a reverb to this granulator track. What I want to happen here is I want the reverb to fade in and out, so I'm going to use the LFO for that. So if I open up my LFO here and turn it on, I just simply hit map and I map this to the wet dry. So now we're gonna hear the reverb fading in and out. And the next device that we're going to look at is the envelope follower. So the envelope follower allows us to track amplitude or volume and then it creates a modulation source from that. So in this case, it's going to track the drum loop that I have playing here, and then we're going to be able to use that to control other parameters. A very common one to do is to control an auto filter with this. So let me add an auto filter here. And we can simply map this to the frequency parameter. I want to do something a little bit different here. I want this to control some of the parameters on the granulator. I'm going to have it control the scan parameter. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the envelope follower, hit map, go back to the granulator track and hit scan. That's pretty cool because now we're getting some rhythmic changing going on with the granulator. It's linked to the drum loop, so we're gonna get a more interesting result and just a more dynamic, locked together sound. Okay, the last device that I wanna show you is the Step Arp. This thing is so cool. You can step sequence things with it. I'm going to use it as more of a rhythm generator. I'll click these buttons down here, which is going to remove a note from being played there. I'll also use these sliders to shorten the notes on some of them. Let's use the map CC tab in addition to this to change the position of the granulator. So I'll hit map 
map that to the position slider here. Now I can change the start position of the sample in the granulator. All right, so there you have it. I hope you learned something and have fun with these devices. If you want to learn more, you can check out some of my courses on sequence1.org.